Welcome to Resourceful Explorations. Today we're going to be making a Kentucky Derby inspired hat. We'll make it out of paper or cardboard or colored paper or really anything you have around the house will work great. It's paper or stronger. Okay, let's start. Step one, I'm going to get some paper out here and what we're going to do is make a really long piece of paper and use that to measure how wide my head is around. Okay, so I'm gonna get my little papers. I'm going to overlap them. Now, I know I have a big head, so I'm gonna use the horizontal. I'm gonna tape it together. Weirdly, we only have double-sided tape at my house. No idea what that's about. Now, I don't think this is gonna fit. Nope giant head as previously discussed <laughs> now if you have construction paper or some other fun paper you can use that okay now this should surely fit around my head <laughs> Now what I'm going to do is overlap it, make sure I have an overlap, pretty snug, hold that there, what I'm doing is lining this up so it'll be nice and square, get my tape, and I'm going to tape them down at the overlap. I'm going to do it on the inside and again on the outside. Especially since I'm using paper here, if I was using cardboard, I'd probably come back and cut off this overlap. But for me, because it's just paper, I'm going to let it overlap for a little structure. Now, so this part of the hat is the vertical part that actually is going to sit on my head like this. Whoop. Victory. Now, this seems a little bit insane but the kind of the point of the Kentucky Derby hat is to make it kind of flamboyant and ridiculous so it's up to you how tall you want this portion to be now if you're kind of enjoying this Abe Lincoln-esque really tall thing you can keep it that way or if you want to make it a more like classic top hat um, you can cut this down I'm gonna cut it down a little bit because I think it's kind of insane I'm gonna flatten it and then I want it to be nice, so I'm going to cut and mark three and three, cut it down a little bit. Now, if I was really smart, I would have planned this out from the beginning and pre cut it down, but sometimes you kind of have to try it on before you see. Okay, so now I still have this part that's going to go around my head. Still fits. Okay, now we need to add the top part. Bloop. And we need to add the rim that goes around. Like this. Okay, so next what I'm going to need to do is figure out the shape of the top part. I think a normal sheet of paper is gonna fit. I'm gonna take a minute and fill in all of the tape now that I know the size I want. So I know this is the size. I want it to be fully taped. So we don't want any of this going on. Okay. So, our heads are not like a total circle, so we don't want to make the top a total circle or our hat's not going to fit. So what I'm going to do is kind of arrange this and shape it so it's a little bit more of an oval like this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trace it from the inside. Oh. 
terrible job. Okay, there it is. And now I'm going to cut it out. Check and make sure it still looks like it's gonna fit. Nailed it. Okay, so now that it fits, I can tape the top onto the sides. Now this is maybe the one time my double-sided tape is going to be an asset. I'll put my tape on the inside now. Boop. See how my paper is flopping? This is why it would be nice have cardboard for this but don't worry it'll still work now if you're using cardboard it might be easier to hot glue this that would be fun as long as you're careful with your hot glue gun I'm gonna keep going. I think I'm gonna aim for eight little tapes to make sure this guy is really on there. And then we're gonna try it on again. So we're having a little bit of it not fitting fantastically which I think is natural. So what I think I'm gonna do, if you see how the top is a little bit bigger than the bottom, I'm just gonna trim it up a little bit, if this happens. still over here. Trim and tape. There we go. Now we're looking like something. Try it back on. My head still fits in there. Still sticks up pretty good. Boop. And now for the brim of the hat. Now if you look at some Kentucky Derby hats, they have some ridiculous brims. You could do this any number of ways, in any number of sizes and shapes. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put four pieces of paper together. Like this. I think that's gonna be plenty of brim. So maybe I can get away with this too. Yeah. Depending on how exciting you want your hat to be, you can make a bigger brim. I think I'm just going to go with this size for right now. First, I'm going to combine these two pieces of paper together. Next, I'm going to line this up so that these guys are this is the same distance and these two distances are similar and then I'm going to trace now I'm pretty much awful at tracing as you can see here you might just even it out. Now I don't want to mess up my taping, so I'm going to come from the middle where I didn't tape. Now I'm going to cut around.
Okay, so now my head should still be able to fit in here. And now what I'm going to do is kind of parallel this shape in the brim. Or if you want to make it more, I don't know, exciting, you can. Let me make it a little bit bigger in the front. Again, this is one of those things you're going to have to just like try it on and see how it works. Keeping in mind that the point of the Kentucky Derby hat is to look ridiculous. It should be playful. Okay, so we have our top. There we go. And we have our brim. Feeling pretty good about it. Now I'm just going to tape the two together. See what we get. doing the four corners and then going back and doing the eight. I don't know, that just makes my math mind happy. Yeah, it's starting to look like a hat, folks. Kind of love it. Yeah, wishing I didn't have double-sided tape, honestly, but we're working with it. It'll be fine. A couple more pieces, and we're going to be ready to decorate. Okay, folks, there it is. Whoosh. The ridiculous Kentucky Derby style hat. Oh, I kind of like it up here. This is good. Yes. So now it's time to decorate it. You can draw on it. You can add other things. There's usually crazy figurines, all kinds of absurd accessories for this. Just have a blast. Make it your own. Enjoy. <laughs> 